Hey guys, we just went through nine straight weeks of the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, which pretty much represents the entire stock market being positive, moving up. And then the last week to start off 2024, it was a negative week. The market moved negatively. We speculated that it may be moving negative for more than one week. It may be a few weeks. But as I look at these stocks on the weekend, in the after hours, gearing up for Monday, I'm going to tell you what I see. I see here we have the SPY on Friday. It moved up a little. Now, we know when stocks move down all week, they may likely move up on Friday. And when they move down all week, I'm sorry, when they move down all week, they may likely move up on Friday. And when they move up all week, they may likely move down on Friday. This week that just passed, they moved down all week and they moved up on Friday. But what do we see for Monday? Well, here on this side, we can see what's happening in the after hours, what's happening when the market is closed. And when the market is closed, we see the SPY is up by 53 cents. We see that the Dow is up by 43 cents. And we see that the NASDAQ is up by 18 cents. So, so far, the three stocks which I see, which I say sort of represent the entire market, are moving up in the after hours so far. So, it made me curious. What do I see for the other stocks that I just recently mentioned in our watch list? that were moving sideways, sort of. We see Clearfield. It's not showing up or down so far in after hours. We see Metafast is down by 39 cents. But Weiss Markets is up by 5 cents. Bristol Myers is up by 5 cents. Next Star Media is showing nothing. Hershey is up by 47 cents. Genuine Parts Company is up by 62 cents. Biogen is up by 62 cents. PepsiCo is down by 9 cents. And Chevron is down by 9 cents. So in summary, I'm seeing a lot of things sort of moving up in the after hours. And it's too early to tell yet. We have to see how markets open Monday morning, and we also have to see if whatever they open with, if it's positive, if that sustains throughout much of the day. But we may be heading for a positive week um, going into next week. I also gave a suggestion in breaking financial news last week that for those who wanted to preserve their portfolio, they could buy a put on, let's say, the SPY. And while their stocks may be moving down, the put would be going up in value. Well, if that was done and you see the market starting to move up next week, you want to get out of that put so that you're not losing money unnecessarily. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up for what I see hap possibly happening 
moving into this next week.